The board will now come to order. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Alderman Tyus, Alderman Bosley, Alderman Moore, Alderman Hubbard, Alderman Ingracia, Alderman Coulter, Alderman Conway, Alderman Gunther, Alderman Vollmer, Alderman Martin, Alderman Onowitz, Alderman Murphy, Alderman Howard, Alderman Green, Alderman Oldenburg, Alderman Rohde, Alderman Kennedy, Alderman Davis, Alderman Spencer, Alderman Muhammad, Alderman Boyd, Present. Alderman Vaccaro, Present. Alderman Ogilvy, Here. Alderman Cone, Alderman Williamson, Here. Alderman Boyd, Here. President Reed, Here. Alderman Tyus, Alderman Bosley, Alderman Moore. Here. Alderman Conway. Alderwoman Howard. Alderman Rohde. Alderman Cone. 22 present. Quorum being present, we will be led today in prayer by Reverend, Hef, um, Reverend Gary Braun, the Director of Catholic Student Center at Washington University. Uh, before we begin prayer, I'm going to ask everybody who's able to stand to stand and join me in a moment of silence for the passing of Carl Bruce and also Liz Brown. Uh, it's hard to have been a St. Louisan and not run into Carl Bruce. He was everywhere uh, taking photos and just the nicest man ever. Liz Brown was one of the most outspoken uh, advocates for uh, working people and uh, people who uh, were homeless and, and uh, across the years and um, uh, unwavering. So join me in a moment of silence. It is good to be here. Holy One, giver of every good gift, source and destiny of every life and every love, builder of the city of God, it is good to be here. It is good to be here with a friend and colleague who today steps forward to dare a new challenge in her life who dares to help lead with all of you this city that she loves to become its best self. It is good to be here to witness to her life, her life that has been repeatedly about acting wisely and loving fiercely and thinking bigger to tomorrow than she did today, and who is not afraid to ask the hard questions of herself and the world around her, and whose heart is restless to be better and better again. It is good to be here with all of you, friends and colleagues one to another, who also step forward once again to lead this city you love to become its best self. It is good to be here with men and women who share their gifts to help this city we love become more and more a home for all, a safe place where each can flourish without exception. May all of you lead the charge with undiluted passion and compassion for all you meet along the way. In other words, may you lead our city with moral courage 
and a great love. Holy One, giver of every give good gift, I ask you to bless each of these women and men and bless this city named for a king and a saint, Louis, who was ready to lead the charge in his day, who was ready to leave his throne behind and go down into the streets of his city and bring to his home the poor and the forgotten, bring them with him to dinner in his home with his family so that his children could know them and so that for those few moments the poor and the uneducated and the children of the streets of his city could experience their nobility. St. Louis, pray for us. Indeed, it is good to be here. Let's give a round of applause to Reverend Braun. That was a beautiful prayer. That's our floor leader, Alderman from the 18th, if you'll join me at the dais. Uh, Alderwoman elect Navarro, join me at the dais with your guest. And um, also our register. <laughs> You all. Where am I going? Yes. You're gonna come, come closer. That's okay. No. Come up. Hold on. Let's get. We gotta get this. Hey, Terry, you're over here. Beyond, slide a little bit closer, and then you guys have to flank this way so the camera. Can. All right, hey, you got to come up closer to the mic. Then walk up, hey D, I need you to come up, come up. No, you can still be. So you have to raise your right hand, face me, step back, step back. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do it slow. Just if you don't understand me, just. You don't say anything and I'll repeat it, okay. okay? All right, are we ready? Okay, if you would raise your right hand, and when I say I, you state your name. Can we have some order? Okay. Please raise your right hand. When I say I, you state your name. I. I, Heather Navarro, of the city of St. Louis, of the city of St. Louis, and the state of Missouri, and the state of Missouri, having been elected by, having been elected by, the qualified voters, the qualified voters, of the city of St. Louis, of the city of St. Louis, to the position, to the position, member of the board of aldermen, member of the board of aldermen, for the 28th ward, for the 28th ward, of the city of St. Louis, of the city of St. Louis, do I solemnly swear? Do I solemnly swear that I have all the qualifications? That I have all of the qualifications, and I am not subject to, and I am not subject to any of the disqualifications, any of the disqualifications named in the charter, named in the charter for the office or employment, for the office or employment I am about to assume. I am about to assume that I will support the Constitution, that I will support the Constitution of the United States, of the United States, and of this state, and of this state, and the charter and the charter and the ordinances of the city and the ordinances of the city that I will be influenced only that I will be influenced only by the consideration of fitness by the consideration of fitness in the appointment and the appointment promotion promotion demotion demotion suspension suspension or discharge of officers or discharge of officers or employees or employees that I will not expend that I will not expend nor authorize nor authorize the expenditure of money the expenditure of money other wins Otherwise then for otherwise then for adequate consideration adequate consideration and efficient service and efficient service to the city to the city and will faithfully discharge and will faithfully discharge the duties of my office the duties of my office or employment or employment congratulations thank you very much Thank <laughs> you. 
Let's put it on. <laughs> there you go. I'll hold this one. Uh, it is, so step on, it's my honor as the floor majority leader to officially present to you the pen from the St. Louis Board of Aldermen. Now, we had to take a pen off of her to put this on. <laughs> I was very eager this morning. Very good, very good. And so we're pleased to, to pin this on you in recognition now that you sit on this Board of Aldermen, and this is a thick, there we go. It. And it's our pleasure to present it to you here today. Thank you very much. <laughs> So now you can take the It's exciting. We'll give the, the older woman an opportunity to take her seat and then we'll do the roll call again. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Older woman Tyus. Alderman Bosley, Present. Alderman Moore, Here. Alderwoman Hubbard, Present. Alderwoman Ingracia, Alderman Kotar, Alderman Conway, Present. Alderman Gunther, Here. Alderman Vollmer, Present. Alderwoman Martin, Present. Alderman Arnowitz, Alderwoman Murphy, Alderwoman Howard, Present. Alderwoman Green, Present. Alderman Oldenburg, Here. Alderman Rohde, Alderman Kennedy, Here. Alderwoman Davis, Alderwoman Spencer, Present. Alderman Muhammad, Present. Alderman Boyd, Present. Alderman Vaccaro, Present. Alderman Ogilvy, Here. Alderman Cohn, Present. Alderman Williamson? Here. Alderwoman Boyd? Alderwoman Navarro? <laughs> President Reed? Here. Alderman Arnowitz? Alderman Rohde? Alderwoman Boyd. Twenty-six present. All right. I'm excited to be here. I don't know about all of you. I know, I know uh, we had the time off during the summer and people call it a break and say that it's a vacation time for all of them, but I'm telling you, those calls continue to go in, come in because the work is never done in your wards, but I do welcome you back to this full board today. Uh, we're gonna have a very busy session throughout, through between now and the first of the year, a lot of things happening. So welcome back, and I'm excited to see all of you and looking forward to getting some work done. All of them from the 28th, you recognize for introduction of honored guests. Thank you, Mr. President. I first would just like to say what an honor it is to be here today, to be in service to this wonderful city. I follow in a long line of very dedicated, responsive, and thoughtful leaders, including our, our mayor, Lyda Krusen, um, as well as some of the other members in the audience that I'd like to thank. But I just want to say that it's taken a lot of people to get me here today, and I really hope that they will all keep me true to my values, um, all of the things that helped get me here today. I count on all of you who are here today to keep me true to those as I serve in this position moving forward. So I do want to thank um, my, my honored friends, guests, mentors, neighbors, new friends who are all here today, um, starting with Mayor Krusen. And it was, it was 20 years ago, about this time, that I moved to St. Louis, and it was 20, in that same year, Mayor Krusen was elected for the first time as Alderman of the 28th Ward, so it's very exciting. Um, over here, um, Beth Lansing and Brooke Williams, two of my very good friends, very supportive along throughout the campaign. Uh, when she announces you, if you can stand so we can, yeah. And my son, Lucas Navarro. My father, Paul Briette. 
my colleague Ed Smith from Missouri Coalition for the Environment. <laughs> Representative Carla May, I don't know if you're here as my guest, but please, I'm honored that you are here for my swearing in. Mike Stevens. Mark Kostelski. Come back over here, Mr. Eugene Wallace. My mother, Donna Briette. My daughter, Maria Navarro. Joanne Vacha. Lana Stein. Mark Gorman, Dan McGuire, previous alderman from the 28th Ward, committee woman Gail Farwell, committee man Art Perry. I know we also have some very um, wonderful volunteers and more friends up in the gallery up there, Rita Navarro. Chris Dewar, Mary Pat O'Gorman, all of you. Just all of these people have been wonderful throughout my life and throughout the campaign. They've um, just been amazing sources of support for me, so thank you. And if there are any other volunteers um, that helped out with the campaign that I did not see that I missed, please stand up so that you could be recognized. Anyone else? Give them everybody, okay? Thank you very much for this opportunity to serve. Thank you. All right, thank you. Any further introductions, any further introductions? All the one from the 14th. Yeah, I'd like to have as my honored guest today, the Mayor Lida Krusen, um, Demetrius Alfred, Firefighters Local 73, Clinton McBride from Laborers International, International Local 110, and Megan Shackelford from the Kelly Group. All the from the 22nd. Good morning, Mr. President, members of the board. I'd like to have my honored guests, Mr. Leroy Grant and Chris Pickle with AT&T, as well as Ms. Sheila Jones and Stephanie Robinson with Ameren, Missouri. Alderman from the 7th. Thank you, Mr. President, members of the board. I'd like to have as my honored guests today Keith Taylor, Jeff Hans, and Todd Hake from the Carpenters Regional Council. Thank you. Any further introductions? Any further introductions? All the one from the 14th. Also, I'd like to introduce Mr. Greg Hayes, Director of Parks and Recreation, and uh, Kim Hagley from the Parks Department. All the one from the 6th. Thank you, Mr. President. I'd like to welcome Anthony Lancia with AGC. Alderman from the 23rd. Yes, Mr. President and members of the board, I'd like to have Al, Nathan, and Jennifer, all from Local 73. I have Charlie Hindenleiter, if I didn't screw it up, with the St. Louis Realtors. He's taken Marnie's place. We all know him and love him. We got Dave Sweeney, our past clerk with Lewis Rice. I have a long list today for some reason. I have. Uh, Lou Grassi and uh, Raymond uh, Hefner from the Plumbers Industry Council, and I believe they provided some snacks for us today. Friday right, breakfast. Let's give them a big round of applause. Thank you, guys. And I also, last but not least, I have Greg Meyer, who is the president of Tilly's Park Neighborhood Association and my chief of staff, as he likes to tell people. <laughs> Alderman for Nate. And members of the board, I too would like to introduce um, a lady who helped the 8th Ward. You know, I like to take credit for all of the things that have happened in the 8th Ward, but back in the, the dreary days of when things were really bad, one city employee in particular um, helped us immensely in the 8th Ward to start gathering up the, the properties and getting them back online, and that is Joanne Bacha from the 28th Ward. Alderman from the 26. Yes, Mr. President, I'd like to have as my honor guest today the former state rep and now the newly assistant treasurer, Mrs. Connie Johnson. Thank you. 
All the one from the 28th. Mr. President, I have two more honored guests that I would like to recognize who are in the room. Uh, my partner, Johnny Zakovich. And Anna Forder, she was the, the first female judge in the city of uh, St. Louis. Oh, She's here with us today. Welcome, Judge. Welcome. Any further introductions? Any further? Uh, all, all of it from the 25th. Thank you, Mr. President. I'd also like to welcome Rachel Smith from the Circuit Attorney's Office as my honored guest this morning. Okay. All of it from the 12th. Thank you, Mr. President, members of the board. I'd like to introduce to my special guests today, Nathan Lett and Jennifer Petrani from EMS. Uh, they are joining us here today. And also, I want to introduce as my special guest, Ms. Uh, Tashar Jones, the treasurer for the city of St. Louis. Alderman from the 18th. Mr. President, members of the board, I'd like to introduce as my special guest today, Mr. John Chasnoff from the Coalition Against Police Crimes and Repression to my right. Alderman from the 4th. Thank you, Mr. President and members of the board. I'd like to have as my special guest, Ms. Mavis Thompson of the License Collector's Office. And my very special guest is Maurice Falls. <laughs> and all those of you who have not been introduced, you are my special guest. We also have the supporters of Resolution 124, uh, who are they, all these folks? They go out and they fight for a better environment each and every day, which benefits us all. So, can I ask all of you to stand up, all the supporters uh, and the hard workers for a better environment? And thank, thank you for all you continue to do to make um, uh, our environment a better place so that uh, we turn this place over better than what we received it. We also have some members of the Parks Department with us. Al J uh, Jankowski. Alan. Good, sir. Oh, oh, taking root from <laughs> uh, Kim Hagley. Kim, welcome. And Mary wanted me to make sure to point out that Alan is new commissioner. So, Alan, you're going to get a lot of work. And Gerard, could you join me up here? Gerard is our new financial analyst. Very, very smart guy. Uh, has done a lot of good work for us already, so make sure to get around and meet him and bring your projects. I know all of you have a lot to do, so let's give him a round of applause and welcome to the staff of the board. Board. <laughs> Would all, all the men from the 10th like to wrap us up? Thank you, Mr. President, members of the board. Uh, as we're gathered here on September 8th, I'd like to remind the new older woman from the 28th that she should enjoy this day. This is the most popular you'll ever be because you have not made a decision yet. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Enjoy it till midnight. Thank you. <laughs> More importantly, this is National Iguana Awareness Day, so please be aware of your iguanas as you're walking around. But in history today, the 1892, the Pledge of Allegiance was first read. And more importantly, something that changed the alderman from the 23rd's life forever in 1966, Star Trek premiered. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Uh, we dispense with line item five. Uh, approval of the minutes. We have none. Report of city officials. Report of city officials can be found in sections A, B, and C of the agenda and have been placed in all alderman's mailboxes. We dispense with line items 9 and 10. Uh, would anyone like to take any bills off of any of our informal calendars? Would anybody like to take any bills off of any of our informal calendars? We would dispense with line items 10 through 11. 
And we dispense with line item 12, first reading of the board bills. Board bill 102, sponsored by Alderwoman Davis and on its recommended and approved by the Board of Estimate and Apportionment, authorizing and directing the Director of Airports and the Comptroller, the owner and operator of St. Louis Lambert International Airport, to enter into and execute upon the city, on behalf of the city, the Trans States Holding Incorporated Airport Office Building Lease Agreement AL055 between the city and Trans States Holding Incorporated granting, granting to the lessee subject to and in accordance with the terms, covenants, and conditions of the agreement, certain rights and privileges in connection with the occupancy and use of the premises, which is defined and morely, more fully described in Section 201 of the lease agreement that was approved by the Airport Commission and made part hereof and its terms are more fully described in section one of this ordinance containing a severability clause and containing an emergency clause. Board Bill 103 sponsored by Alderman Kennedy and ordinance to change the zoning on um, multiple properties located on Windsor Place and containing an emergency clause, Board Bill 104, sponsored by President Reed and ordinance recommended by the Planning Commission to change the zoning of multiple properties from C multiple family dwelling and J industrial dwelling to the J industrial dwelling industrial district for properties on North Broadway and Angelica Street. Board Bill 105, sponsored by Alderwoman Woman in Gracia in ordinance to change the zoning of property in multiple city blocks on Locust from J Industrial District to the H Aerial Commercial District containing an emergency clause. Board Bill 106, sponsored by Alderman Woman Hubbard and Alderman Bosley in ordinance recommended by the Planning Commission to change the zoning of multiple properties and multiple zoning codes from a single family dwelling district and C multiple family dwelling district to the D multiple family district and the F, F neighborhood commercial district and G local commercial and office district and J industrial district to the H area commercial district only for multiple properties on Benton, Cass, North Jefferson, Madison, Maiden, Montgomery, Melanthi, North Market, North 22nd Street, North 23rd Street, North 25th Street, and Warren, and containing an emergency clause, Board Bill 107, sponsored by Alderwoman Davis, and known as recommended and approved by the Airport Commission, the Board of Investment and Apportionment, that provides for financial incentives for air services at St. Louis Lambert International Airport, determines and finds that it is in the best interest of the city, the airport, and the traveling public to encourage service at the airport by new passenger and cargo airlines and to stimulate service by airlines currently using the airport by the adoption of programs providing for financial incentives for new airlines or new air service at the airport adopts an air service incentive program for fiscal years 2018 through the through 2020 containing a severability clause and containing an emergency clause. Board Bill 108, sponsored by Alderwoman Davis and Honors, recommended and approved by the Airport Commission, the Board of Investment and Apportionment, making certain findings with respect to the transfer of $1,600,000 of excess monies that the city, the owner and operator of St. Louis Lambert International Airport, intends to transfer to the Airport Development Fund into the Airport Contingency Fund in, con in accord accordance with Section 509 of the airport amended and restated indenture of trust between the city as grantor and UMB Bank as trustee authorizing transfer in the total amount of $1,600,000 from the airport development fund into the airport contingency fund, further authorizing transfers of funds in the total amount not to exceed $1,600,000 from the airport contingency fund to the airport revenue fund as are required for the purposes of making funds available for part of the estimated cost of the airport's air, air, air service incentive program for fiscal year 2018 through 2020, which total estimated cost may not exceed $4,800,000 and providing for supplemental transfers from the airport development fund to the airport contingency fund and then into the airport revenue fund containing a severability clause and containing an emergency clause. 
Board Bill 109, sponsored by all the women Davis and Arnold, recommended and approved by the Airport Commissioner Board of Public Service and the Board of Estimate and Apportionment, at establishing and authorizing multi-year public work and improvement program at St. Louis Lambert International Airport, providing for and consisting of capital improvement projects, implementation, administration, management, or monitoring of the airport projects at a total estimated cost of one $110 million, authorizing an in initial appropriation in a total amount of $79 million, $10,684 as follows, $5,887,470 from the Airport Development Fund, $15,122,946 from the Passenger Facility Charge Fund, $31,402,134 from the series 2017 C Construction Subaccount, $26,500,000. $98,134 from the series 2017 deconstruction subaccount into this ordinance for the payment of of costs for work and services authorized herein, providing for the payment of supplemental appropriations when authorized by ordinance into this ordinance as funds become available to continue the airport projects. Authorizing the mayor and the comptroller to enter into and execute on behalf of the city easement agreements, granting such easements or right of ways as may be necessary to the administration or implementation of the airport projects containing a severability and an emergency clause. Board Bill 110, sponsored by Alderwoman Davidson, on is recommended and approved by the Airport Commission and the Board of Estimate and Apportionment, authorizing and directing the mayor and the comptroller, owner and operator of St. Louis Lambert International Airport to accept the supplemental agreement to airport aid agreement offered by the Missouri Highways and Transportation Commission for the marketing and promotion of air service at the airport for a maximum obligation of $592,000 for the reimbursement of direct costs associated with projects funded under the grant agreement, which extends the time period of the supplemental agreement for three months from June 30, 2016 up until including September 30, 2016, and containing an emergency clause, Board Bill 111, sponsored by Alderwoman Davidson, on is recommended and approved by the Airport Commission, the Board of Investment and Apportionment, authorizing and directing the mayor and the comptroller, owner and operator of St. Louis Lambert International Airport to accept and execute on behalf of the city a certain airport aid agreement offered by Missouri Highways and Transportation Commission for the marketing and promotion of air service at the airport for a maximum obligation of $375,000 for the reimbursement of direct costs associated with the projects funded under the grant agreement and containing an emergency clause. Board Bill 112, sponsored by Alderwoman Davis and on recommended by the Board of Estimate and Apportionment, authorizing and directing the Director of Airports and the Comptroller to enter into and execute on behalf of the city First Amendment to the Wi-Fi and Distributed Antenna System Operating Agreement, AL263, to the St. Louis Lambert International Airport Wi-Fi and Distributed Antenna System Operating Agreement, AL263, between the City and Concourse Communications Group, LLC, a limited liability company authorized and existing under the laws of the State of Delaware and authorized by the City Ordinance 69919 containing a severability clause and containing an emergency clause. Board Bill 113, sponsored by Alderman Arnowitz, pursuant to Ordinance 68937, an ordinance authorizing honorary street name change, street name S. Sergeant Ron Boskis, kiss, I'm sorry. U.S. Army Green Beret Street will begin at intersection of Livingston Drive and Fillmore Street and run northwest on Fillmore Street to Coronado Avenue. Board Bill 114, sponsored by President Reed and Alderman Vaccaro, and honors adopted pursuant to Section 105.483 of the Rice Statute of Missouri, reaffirming the provisions of Ordinance 6239166691676840968934, establishing a policy 
for the disclosure of potential conflicts of interest and substantial interests of certain municipal officials and containing an emergency clause. Board Bill 115, sponsored by Alderman Williamson, and on its renaming the city park in the 26th Ward, known as Parkland Park, the new name of said park to be Frank Williamson Senior Park and containing an emergency clause. Board Bill 116, sponsored by Alderman Onowitz, an ordinance approving a redevelopment plan for 3830 and 3831 Boulevard Heights Court. Board Bill 117, sponsored by Alderwoman Green and Alderwoman Ingracia, an ordinance relating to public safety, imposing subject to the approval of the voters a temporary pay payroll tax a temporary payroll tax at a rate of one half of one percent on the income of each individual employed in the city of St. Louis by a for-profit business organization, whether foreign or domestic employment, 50 or more persons, regardless of the location of said persons, place of employment, and any organization which is recognized as tax exempt under section 501c3 of the inter Internal Revenue Code, whether foreign or domestic, employing 250 or more persons, regardless of the location of said person's place of employment, solely for the purpose of providing revenues for the operation of the Department of Public Safety, including the police and fire divisions, submitting, submitting to the qualified voters of the city a proposal to impose such tax, providing for an election and the manner of voting thereat, providing that if such questions shall receive the votes of a majority of the voters voting thereon, that such tax shall be authorized and in effect and containing an emergency clause. Board Bill 118, sponsored by Alderman Rohde and on is recommended by the Board of Public Service to vacate travel on an irregular portion of Shoto adjacent to 4001 through 07 Shoto, City Block 3957, beginning at Sarah and extending eastwardly to a point in the city. Board Bill 119, sponsored by Alderman Muhammad and ordinance approving the allocation of $215,000 from the City Emergency Management Fund uh, uh, Agency for workforce development and employment to out-of-work residents in the city of St. Louis. Board Bill 120, sponsored by Alderman Boyd, and on its requiring public utilities to replace sidewalk squares consistent with the color, texture, and spacing of expansion expansion joints of adjacent sidewalk squares, or if any adjacent sidewalk square is inconsistent as to its color, texture, and spacing of its expansion joints with that of the majority of sidewalk squares on the block, the majority of sidewalk squares on the block. Board Bill 121, sponsored by Alderwoman Green and Ernest establishing a four-way stop site at the intersection of Hartford Street and Morgan Ford Road, regulating all northbound and southbound traffic traveling on Morgan, Morgan Ford Road at Hartford Street and regulating all eastbound and westbound traffic traveling on Hartford Street at Morgan Ford Road and containing an emergency clause. That is the extent of our first readings. Reference to committee. To the public, public Safety Committee, Board Bill 119. To the Neighborhood Development Committee, Board Bill 116. To the Legislation Committee, Board Bill 114. To the Parks Committee, Board Bill 115. To the Streets Committee, Board Bill 113, 118, 120, and 121. And to the Transportation and Commerce Committee, Board Bills 102, 107, 108, 109, 110, 111, and 112. And to the Housing Committee, Board Bills 103, 104, 101, 105 and 106. That's the extent of reference to committees. We'll dispense with line items 15 through 21. All the one for the 19th, you recognize on the motion for the courtesy resolution calendar. Mr. President, members of the board, I ask for adoption of the courtesy resolution calendar. Been moved by the all the one for the 19th, seconded by the all the one for the 12th. Any discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. First reading the resolution. Resolution 124, sponsored by President Reed and Alderman Vaccaro, the Board of Aldermen authorizes the city's sustainability plan. 
Alderman from the 23rd, you recognize on the first reading of Resolution 124. Mr. President, I'd like to send this to the res to the um, Legislation Committee. It's been moved by the Alderman from the 23rd that we assign Resolution 124 to the Legislation, entertain a second on the motion, seconded by the Alderman from the 12th. In discussion, all in favor signify by saying aye. aye. Opposed, motion carries. Madam Clerk. Please assign resolution 124 to the legislation. So noted. Thank you. And that was the that was the resolution for the sustainability plan for you guys. <laughs> All right. Yes. So noted. Right. Resolution 125, sponsored by President Reed, Alderman Kennedy, and Alderman Gunther. The Board of Aldermen recognize and stand against the president's decision to end the deferred action for our childhood arrivals. And we encourage Congress to pass a legislative solution to protect those who are affected by the president's decision to terminate the program. All the one for the 19th, you recognize on the first reading of resolution 125. Mr. President, members of the board, I ask that we adopt this resolution and bank and that we move it on the floor today immediately. All right. It's been, moved, it's been moved that we, uh, well, it's been a request for unanimous consent. Yes. Hearing no objection. Now you. you want to make the motion to ad adopt it? I'd like to make a motion to adopt this resolution today. Thank and you. bank. And bank. It's been moved by the other one from the 19th, second by the other from the 25th, and all the one from the 14th that we adopt resolution 125 and bank. All in favor signify by saying aye. Opposed. Motion carries. Madam Clerk, please make note of that. Resolution 125 and bank. So noted. That's the extent of our first reading of resolutions. We dispense with line items 24. Miscellaneous unfinished business. We have none. Announcements. Friday, next week on Friday, full board meeting, 10 a.m. in the chambers. That's the extent of my announcements. Any further announcements? Any further announcements? Alderman from the fourth. Thank you, Mr. President and members of the board. Over the summer, we lost comedian and fellow home guy, Dick Gregory. And we're going to have a memorial service for Dick Gregory on October the 12th, his birthday. So like all those who will please be present would, and uh, let's have a moment of silence, silence. with you. Uh, I'd ask everybody in the chambers and galleries who's able to stand and stand and join us in a moment of silence for the passing of Dick Gregory. Uh, Dick Gregory was more than just a, a comedian. He was an advocate for people all across this country. And uh, we will miss him. Thank you, all of them. Any further announcements? Any for all the one from the 19th. Uh, Mr. President, members of the board and to the public, I want to say to the city of St. Louis, most especially all those who volunteered during the summer uh, months for children and their recreation opportunities and mentoring, we had a very successful summer and I just wanted to say thank you. And then I want to say thank you to Lufest for bringing me Snoop. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there you go. All the way from the 22nd. President and members, well, I'd like to announce that there's going to be a street hearing on Tuesday at 9 a.m. And I will be inviting the treasurer and her staff at the Parking Commission to preempt uh, the passage of board bill number 40, sponsored by Alderman Baccaro, because it was a commitment from the Parking Division that they would work on doing some administrative work to um, take care of the situation in reference to fines doubling and 30 days appeal. And we haven't had an update from them, so I am making it public that I would like the treasurer and all the relevant staff from the Parking Commission to appear at that particular hearing and give us an update so that we'll know if we need to pass board bill number 40 or not. Thank all right. You. Thank you, Alderman. Alderman from the fourth. Thank you, Mr. President and members of the board. I'd be remiss if I didn't mention my committee man, Mr. Leroy Carter from the fourth ward. Welcome. Representative Mike Butler and Attorney Daryl Piggy. Alderman, thank you. Alderman from the 23rd. Just like to announce that we're going to have a legislative meeting 
only dealing with Board Bill 114 Friday at 9 o'clock. It's, it's the thing we have to do every two years and it shouldn't take a lot of time. So 9 o'clock legislative meeting and it'll only be on Board Bill 114. All right, thank you. Any further announcements? Any further announcements? Alderman from the third? No, no. Sorry. Uh, any further announcements? Any further announcements? Alderman from the 18th, you recognize on the motion to excuse. Mr. President, it's my understanding all members were present. Excellent. Alderman from the 18th, you recognize on the motion to adjourn. Mr. President, members of the board, I move that the board adjourns until Friday, September 15th, 10 a.m. Moved by the Alderman from the 18th, entertain a second on that motion, seconded by the Alderman from the 21st. Any discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Stand adjourned.